P.T. Pop here with all four lobes of my brain, severely poisoned by call center work. And today what I wanted to do was to go over with you what it's like to search for a call center job on the internet and what you run into and the weird things you find when you do a search for call centers. So what I've done is I've logged into my Monster account and um, I put in call centers in the 44143 Cleveland, Ohio area. That's a, a suburb of Cleveland. I click search and the results come back within a 20 mile search radius in the very first one of all the hideous call centers there are in the world is Dial America. Now look, look at the propaganda, how they sell themselves here. Join the Dial America family. Hi, I'm Casey Kasem. Dial America is shooting to number one with their family-like style of employment. You click on this and it's not just one job, it's look at all the jobs they've got available. Now this is around the country. Dial America, I worked there for like a week and it was atrocious. The turnover there is like for every one person they hire, they lose two. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm exaggerating quite a bit, but the turnover is about a one-to-one -one ratio. Every one person they hire, somebody walks out the door. It's, it's, it's abysmal. Dial America is the type of place where they are basically contracted now by companies to do their call center work. In the old days, Dial America was, a, was pr primarily a telemarketing firm. Nowadays, since telemarketing is pretty much a dead thing, um, companies will hire Dial America to take over their call, customer service and sales work. So the major corporation like a Verizon or an Altel or you know, an AT&T doesn't have to staff the people. They don't have to worry about hiring HR. They don't have to worry about liability and the health insurance. Dial America brings people in part-time. They handle inbound call center and sales work or outbound sales work. It's one of the first things you'll find when looking for call centers is Dial America. Uber, look at this. Uber is a Uber driver partner. Supplement your call center income because Uber driver the Uber company knows the call center job sucks so bad that you don't make enough money to support yourself. So come on over to Uber and get a, a job to support your call center income. A lot of the companies you'll find in any city will, will all be call center jobs through a staffing agency because the call centers don't want to be bothered. The real companies don't want to be bothered with the hiring process. So here are some of the results I got here in the Cleveland area. Uh, customer service representative for AAA. Progressive is always in here because the turnover at Progressive is through the roof too. I'm surprised I don't see them in here. So let's go back to my customer service representative, call center look, search here. Customer care lead at Spectrum. Now Spectrum used to be Time Warner Cable. Their, their parent company is Charter Communications and Charter Communications bought Time Warner and Time Warner has such a bad reputation with their customers and with their service provided they decided to candy coat a turd. So they, what they did is they started a new marketing campaign. They renamed the company Spectrum. So all the happy peasants that are out there with, with Time Warner service think they're getting a new turd. I'm getting a new turd, everybody. It's brand new, it's polished, it smells mm, good. They call it Spectrum, Spectrum uh, Cable. And you see all the Spectrum trucks around my neighborhood where all the, the happy peasants that live in my neighborhood have decided, I'm going to go get Spectrum. I would expect to have better cable, but it's still it's still the same company. It has the same network. It has the same pitfalls that the other company had. They just called it something different. A customer care lead. This is like a not a supervisor position, but it's somebody. It's like an assistant manager to a department in a call center. Nice blue, royal blue with white letters, and then everything here is look at everything on their pages catering to what. What is it catering to? I'm not being racist here, but it's catering to the minorities in the in the area. You know, look, nice, pretty black girl, nice Asian girl. She looks kind of stoned. Um, I guess maybe Hispanic, maybe white. He's probably Hispanic and a nice, happy, smiling black girl. Uh, a pleasant-looking black girl, maybe an Indian or Pakistani. But it's it's total propaganda, trying to pull pull minorities in, trying to make you feel welcome all that stuff. It, uh, that doesn't show diversity to me. That shows to me that they hire mo mostly minorities and you're lucky if maybe you're white you can get a job there. This is a, an intense position because now this is a tough position because not only do you have to know all the products, you have to know technology, you have to know sales and customer service, but you also have to know how to manage people. So you're juggling multiple balls at once. Interact. Look at the keywords. Act. Demonstrate. Resolve. Interact, handle, act, anticipate, 
anticipate and prevents to the extent possible problems and roadblocks before they occur and suggest promote alternative products or services deliver the best value. That means you have to mind read. You basically, once you get somebody on the phone, you hear them screaming at you and calling you a, a no good uh, stinky sphincter. You gotta go, well, you know, I think this person just needs a new cable box. Yeah. Um, but here are the requirements. Must have met or exceed performance requirements. So right there, this is a primary thing to look out for. Major company, massive telecommunications company worth billions of dollars, and they didn't proofread the job description. There's a grammatical error here. It should say must meet or exceed performance requirements or must, um, must have met or exceeded performance requirements, but that's a grammatical error right there. And right there, you shouldn't take the job because if they cannot even proofread their own job description to hire new people in the building, they can't, they're not going to do you no good there, Charlie. You know, you, could, you do this search for call center work and you get event specialists part-time. That's basically somebody that sits in, like at an event, a convention center hands out flyers for somebody. Event specialist again. What does that got to do with customer service? It's got nothing to do with call centers or customer service. Strategic account executive. And a lot of these are, are staffing agencies. Clinical data coordinator. What the hell is that? Shandow Business Solutions. It sounds like a, a staffing agency. Uh, look at this. This is what you got to watch out for. A team-oriented and fun environment. I'm going to have fun working at Sandow. Networking and learning retreats nationally and internationally each year. I'm going to go travel internationally. Woohoo! Public speaking practice in small and large groups. Oh, yeah. Sales skills. Again, watch for how things are worded. Grammatical errors. Confusing wording. That's a prime indication that the company internally is severely flawed and the people, especially people that work in, in HR, they're going to hire you, don't know what the hell they're doing. And they underscored full-time there when read because there's not a lot of uh, full-time jobs here in the Cleveland area. It's a lot of it's part-time, seasonal now. They hell off that page and run because they're going to pay eight bucks an hour to do a whole lot of work for nothing. We got here, call center Uber, 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 Uber knows that we're all desperate people, those of us that work in call centers. We hear you. The whole world hears you. <laughs> Tele-app call center rappers. Vietnamese. Our training starts on 1030. Well, this is an old one because uh, I'm sorry, people. I have no way to go back in time for your training. It's just a cesspool. It's just a tor terrible cesspool. Oh, appointment center patient service specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, one of the premier hospitals in the world. Let's see what this, look at the big black bold letters. You know why they got that? Because this, this is an appointment center. This, the, I bet you, you don't need no high school diploma for this one. Education bachelor's degree? Come on, to be an appointment center at the Cleveland Clinic? <laughs> What the hell? What, what a pile of crap that is. Work experience, three years of high touch customer experience. I thought sexual harassment was outlawed in this country all of a sudden. And they want me touching customers? That's crazy. Senior telecommunications engineer. That's, that's got a lot to do with call center experience. See, when you look for call center stuff, you look for customer service, it's like a, it's like a grab bag of bologna that you get. Load planner. I can lie. I, I always try to plan my loads. How about you, brother? Yeah, hey, that girl over there, she can help me plan my load. At least where to put it. Uh, JP Recovery. Look, it's, they're shouting at you. We're growing again at JP Recovery Services, one of the plain dealer's top workplaces in 2015. Best place to work in collections inside ARM. And it's all in caps right here. Look, everybody, it's a great career. Great benefits. Professional environment. Fun and sense of contest and appreciation events. That means like Wheel of Fortune. Well, they throw a koosh ball and you get to play Wheel of Fortune and, and you win like a you know free donut at Dunkin' Donuts or something. Flexible schedule after training. Oh, convenient west side location. I guess what I'm trying to say is here, when you're, when you're looking for a customer service job, there's a lot of things to watch out for. Watch out for grammatical errors, typos. Um, if they say fun, exciting, cash pay daily. Work at every staff. 10 to $14 an hour in Cleveland, full-time employee. Determines requirements, answers inquiries, resolves problems, fulfills requests, sells additional services. So you got to do customer service and sales all for four, 10 to $14 an hour. They'll bring you in at 10. If you ask for anything more than that, they'll, they'll decline your 
they will not offer you a position. From service data entry, listening, phone skills, verbal communication, building relationships, people skills, interpersonal savvy. I'm very savvy when it comes to my interpersonal skills. Immediate interviews. Let's look at this one. Immediate. I can teleport myself downtown Cleveland and have an interview. Now interviewing for customer service and sales associates who are not content with complacency in their careers. Hogan, come over here quickly. This is not a call center and we do not do door to doors and enter sales. We are not a recruiting company or staffing firm. Mm. This position includes full pay training. It is full time. Pays weekly. Which is, that's a bad sign too. They pay weekly. This is a fly by night company because nobody pays weekly. Nobody. Unless they're like working out of a warehouse in some ghetto area of, of the city. And I've worked in one of those places too. If they pay cash under the table or weekly, it's bad news. Plus commissions and bonuses. Offer the fast track advancement path through management. They always, they always try to bait the younger people with the path to management. You become a manager. It's so, it's so prestigious, sexy. But driving your BMW around the ghettos of Cleveland. Uh, it's all poo poo caca. Watch out for how things are worded with real soapy, syrupy things. Uh, phrases like cash pay daily, fun, exciting environment, you'll be part of a team, weekly pay. Those are all bad signs that it's a fly by night company and you don't want to work there. It's a place that's um, either just set up shop in some abandoned warehouse and it's just trying to get by. Damn, I, I better work at Uber. Uber, 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 Uber. Uber, Uber. <laughs> I need to go to Uber. Anyway, so there you have it. If you like my videos, give me an old thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell the world about my videos and my commentary about call centers and restless leg syndrome and guitar lessons and critiques of this, that, and the other. PT Pop signing off. All four loads of my brain. Poisoned by customer service experience.